everybody. Many competitive examinations, questions based on question tags are very important. So I have decided to do videos on question tag. There are some basic rules and you should know what is a declarative sentence and what is an imperative sentence if you want to use correct question tag. A declarative sentence or assertive sentence is a statement. For example, I am a teacher, he is a teacher. Here, sentence is starting with a subject. If the sentence is starting with a verb, it is imperative sentence. For example, close the door, bring me some water. These are all examples for imperative sentences. The next, the rule is, if the sentence is positive, question tag is to be negative. If the sentence is negative, question tag is to be positive. That's an important rule. For example, he is a teacher. So this is a positive sentence. Then question tag is, isn't he? He will come. The question tag is, won't he? Will plus not. It is not will not. Will not he. It's wrong. Will not he. It is won't he. So that's a very important shall not. It is not shall not. It is shan't. Now let us see the rule regarding the usage of pronouns. John and Raju passed the exam. Didn't they? It's a positive sentence. John and Raju passed the exam. Positive sentence. So question tag is to be negative. Didn't they? Because Raju and John. So we have to use the pronoun they. Now you see Raju and John have passed the exam. Then question tag is to be haven't they? Another example, she won't like me. It's a negative sentence. She won't like me. Question tag is to be positive. So question tag is, will she? It's a negative sentence. She won't like me. So question tag is, will she? Siddharth can swim well. Here subject is the Siddharth and uh, auxiliary verb is can. So it's a positive sentence. Then question tag cannot be can't Siddharth. So instead of Siddharth, we have to use the pronoun he. So correct question tag is can't he. From the last sentence, we understood. We have to change the order of the auxiliary verb. Siddharth can swim well. Then here can is the auxiliary verb. So we are putting it in front and we can say, form the question tag. Can't he? But in some sentences there may not be, there will not be auxiliary verb. For example, Mr. Rajan taught English. In this there is no auxiliary verb. Then how to form question tag? Mr. Rajan taught English. Didn't he? That is the taught past tense. So the question tag is didn't he? Say positive sentence. Mr. Rajan taught English. Then question tag is to be negative since the sentence is a positive. Next, uh, it's a past tense, taught. So we have to form the question tag like this. 
didn't he english speaks english fluently so this is a positive sentence and there is no auxiliary verb then how to form question tag here subject is suresh then verb is speaks so here present tense there is no auxiliary verb so speaks so here does doesn't he since the sentence is positive question tag is negative doesn't then instead of suresh we have to use the pronoun he so the correct question tag is doesn't he another important example i am healthy how to form question tag for this here subject is i verb is am then it's a positive sentence question tag is to be negative so you may think that question tag is am in dai no it is not am in dai when not is added to am it is are in so correct question tag for i am healthy are in dai i am healthy are in dai i hope these ideas will help you improve your english conversation thank you for watching